Hi, I'm Lisa, and I'm going to show you how to use the Waring Rotisserie Turkey Fryer and Steamer. Rotisserie fry, basket fry, and steam, all in one. After you unpack your turkey fryer, inside the basket, you'll find the rotisserie, the power cord, the meat thermometer, the butcher's twine, and the oil drain hose. Additional parts include the oil reservoir and heating element with control panel. The heating element fits into the reservoir, and if it doesn't fit properly, a safety mechanism will prevent the unit from turning on. Now let's get started by heating up the oil. Attach the breakaway cord to the back of the unit. Before adding oil, check to make sure that the oil draining spigot is closed. Pour two and a half gallons of good quality vegetable oil into the oil reservoir, right up to the max fill line. Be sure not to use any solid or hydrogenated oil, olive oil, grapeseed oil, shortening or lard in this deep fryer. And never mix oils because they may have different smoke points. Set the temperature to 375 degrees and then cover the unit with the lid to speed up the heating process. While the oil is heating up, we can begin by inserting the rotisserie and trussing the turkey. Doing this right ensures the turkey will rotate properly. Whenever you deep fry, make sure your food is fresh or completely thawed. Also, be sure to remove all innards, tail, and loose skin. Remove the bar from the spits. Carefully insert the rotisserie into the center of the turkey. And be sure to position it so that it's centered with the breast. Once the spits come through the other side, push the bar firmly onto the spits to secure it. Using good quality butcher's twine, tie the thighs to the body, then cut the excess twine. Use another piece of butcher's twine to tie the wings. Tuck the wings in to ensure nothing comes loose while the turkey is rotating. Securely tie the legs to the turkey to one another. Then pull the twine tightly over the top of the turkey and bring it underneath the bar and through each eyelet. When you rotisserie fry a turkey, it's important to check nothing comes untied. A loose wing or leg can interfere with the turning of the rotisserie and the turkey won't cook properly. Place the rotisserie into the basket, guiding both ends into the grooves. Be sure the turkey rotates completely without touching the sides of the basket. This ensures the rotisserie mechanism will work properly. When the green oil ready light turns on, lift the basket and position it over the oil reservoir. Squeeze the basket handles and slowly lower the basket, inserting the rotisserie gear into the side closest to the control panel. The basket is equipped with a safety feature that prevents it from falling into the oil. Carefully lower the basket until the handles are resting on the sides of the reservoir. Lift the toggle switch to the rotisserie on position and watch to make sure the rotisserie rotates properly. If the basket isn't inserted properly, the turkey will not rotate. Set the time recommended for your turkey. Our 17 pound turkey will cook in about 60 minutes. The fryer cooks a turkey at a ratio of approximately three and a half minutes per pound. 
When cooking time has elapsed, the timer will sound. Remove the lid, turn the rotisserie to the off position, raise the basket. While your turkey is resting on the rim, allow oil to drain. Insert the thermometer in between the breast and thigh. It should read between 165 to 170 degrees. If your turkey is not ready, remove the meat thermometer, lower the basket back into the reservoir, and turn the rotisserie back on. When the turkey is fully cooked, turn the temperature knob to the standby position and unplug the power cord to turn the fryer off. Remove the basket and place it on a cutting board or butcher's block. Using oven mitts, remove the rotisserie from the basket. Then cut away the twine. The rotisserie feature uses one-third less oil than other units on the market. In less than an hour, you have a beautiful deep fried turkey, perfect for Thanksgiving or all year round. Now, carefully remove the rotisserie from the turkey. The Waring Rotisserie Turkey Fryer is the only ETL approved indoor fryer of its kind on the market. Make sure your fryer and oil have completely cooled before cleaning. Use the oil draining spigot on the front of the housing to drain oil. Attach one end of the drain hose to the spigot and place the other inside a container to catch oil. Turn the spigot counterclockwise and drain until all of the oil has been emptied. Be sure to close the oil spigot afterwards. Oil can be reused for up to two weeks. Tightly cover the storage container and refrigerate. The remainder of the parts can be hand washed with warm soapy water. Be sure all parts are completely dry before reassembling the unit. When you're not using it to rotisserie fry a turkey, you can also basket fry large quantities of food, including french fries, chicken wings, and everything in between. And it's a steamer too. When steaming, you must cover the entire heating element with water. Begin by pouring approximately 12 cups of water into the reservoir. After, turn the temperature knob to 375 degrees. Once a rolling boil is reached, turn the temperature knob to 235 degrees. Remove the lid and lower the basket into the reservoir. Place aluminum foil over the reservoir. This will prevent steam from escaping from the vents. It should take about 20 minutes for your food to be completed. Entertain your guests with the best with wearing. Hi, I'm Lisa, and I'm going to show you how to use the Waring Rotisserie Turkey Fryer and Steamer. Rotisserie fry, basket fry, and steam, all in one. After you unpack your turkey fryer, inside the basket, you'll find the rotisserie, the power cord, the meat thermometer, the butcher's twine, and the oil drain hose. Additional parts include the oil reservoir and heating element with control panel. The heating element fits into the reservoir, and if it doesn't fit properly, a safety mechanism will prevent the unit from turning on.